Right. Six degrees of separation. I'm, I'm giving you guys all these foundations so that you guys understand how to properly market on social media. Because it's very different to market on social media than traditional media. Agreed? OK, cool. Six degrees of separation says, uh, somehow uh, our seven billion people are connected one. If you actually uh, somehow ask this guy who know 120 more people, who ask this guy who know 120 more people or whatever, if you want to get to know Obama, you ask six levels of your friends, you will hit him one. Okay, this is a universal law, not defined by me. Okay, but uh, nobody is silly enough to do that. Lah. Okay, but on Facebook, you can check your friends' friends and friends' friends or friends and friends' friends or friends or not. Facebook is built on six degrees of separation platform. Uh, I mean, concept, sorry. Cool? So remember that. In Facebook, uh, what I'm trying to say here, if I want to get to know some big shot in another company, I just go to Facebook from home, check these friends and these friends. If this friend somehow is connected to that guy, and that guy is connected to the guy I want, I have found a way to do business somehow. If you know how to network and position after that using that two or three degree of separation. You guys understand what I'm saying? Somehow everybody's connected. Man. I may know your mother, you just don't know it yet. For whatever reason, I don't know why I know your mother. Lah. <laughs> okay, right. But uh, yeah, you guys understand the concept, huh? Simple, huh? Everybody's connected. Everybody. So I won't offend you. Try, I try not to offend you. Try not to offend me because my mother could be your mother. <laughs> okay, right. All right. Cool. Further to this, I'm so sorry to bombard you guys with uh, this kind of concept, but it's very important before you even start marketing on social media. Okay. Uh, uh, my, my topic is about creating wealth online, uh, creating wealth via online marketing, right? Okay, so social media marketing is a form of online marketing, so that's why I have to define the social side of things uh, so that you guys will understand the fundamentals before you uh, even attack the markets to make money, okay? Right, yes, social technographics is created by Forrester Research. How many of you heard of Nielsen Media Research? International Data Corporation, IDC. Forrester Research. These are all the biggest market research company in the world. Okay, what they did was they came out with something called social technographics that defines the level of participation of human beings towards technology. Let me just read it out to you uh, so that they, we can progress faster. If you have a blog or you create videos of your own and upload to YouTube channel, you are a creator, an original creator. If you are a blogger or have your own article or content which you contribute back to the internet, you are a creator. Got it? Cool? If you are a person who likes to talk about, hey, your dress very nice, la, your skirt very sexy, la, your baby very cute, la, you are a critique. You don't talk about your content, you talk about other people's content. Normally, creators are also critiques, okay, because they are so engaged with the internet. Okay. Collectors are people who just download movies, download white papers, download software, legal or not, I don't know. Okay? They just download, download, consume, consume, collect. Okay? Joiners are people who... I have a Facebook account, but my username and password is my daughter. Okay? Joiners are like that. Okay? Spectators are like, I don't even have a Facebook account, yay! Okay? I just watch the world go by in the term of techno uh, participation. Okay? Inactives are, I don't even have a mobile phone and I hate technology and computers because I think it's satanic. You guys getting this? I'm just speaking from the amount. Okay? So we have six levels of participation from, the, uh, from the internet, the users towards technology. So naturally, if you want to get a baby boomer to be, to understand your business, huh, Facebook may not be the best channel. Marketing tells me that. Huh? Should tell you that also, right? So if you want to get to a multinational CEO who is 80 years old and you expect to get to him via Facebook, can, still can. I'll give you a secret, one or not. Okay, this side is still louder, you guys can go. Okay. <laughs> The 80-year-old have kids, or not? Get to the kids, lah. 
six degrees of separation. Again, uh, strategy. If I want to get to an older people, I cannot get them directly. I have to get them through the kids on Facebook because Facebook is a playground for all of us Gen Y whose parents are baby boomers. After that, you figure out how to deal with the baby boomer through the son or through the daughter. I'm not asking you to marry the daughter or marry the son. But if that's part of your strategy, then it's your strategy, not mine. Okay? Right. Okay, cool. So six. So it's all it, it all ties in, if you really think about it. Social media, Facebook, the Gen Y. If you understand Gen Y, you can get to the baby boomer, right? Because the parents are baby boomers. You guys getting this, huh? That's why all these slides are important. But before understanding Generation Y, you also need to understand we are made up of different personality, Enneagram and DISC. You guys seeing the flow here? Okay, great, cool. So now I'm putting it all together for you. So one more uh, concept for you guys to understand. Social dynamics, okay? How credible are you? When I ask this question, I ask in the context of online, okay? Online meaning this. If I search on Google, can I find you on Facebook? Can I find your fan page? Can I find your YouTube video? If I cannot find you online, you have no credibility online, you cannot sell to me. Because I have practically social dynamics is your online CV and resume. You guys understand what I'm saying? Right? If you see this guy actually have a video at least of this company or whatever, would you be more trusting towards this company? Yeah. If you if they have none, it's like everybody everything is hiding one. You know, it's like, ah, uh, what is he afraid of? Open up, blah, you know, kind of thing. And then you don't trust this guy because he's just hiding a lot of stuff. Okay, what economy are we in right now? Okay, let me just define what I'm trying to say here. What economy, huh? Okay. Okay, what economy? You, you, can, can you guys give me some, some thoughts about what I'm trying to say here? Give me one word. What economy are we living in here? E-commerce economy, come on. G give me some more words. What economy are we living in? Anything that pops up from your brain. Hey. What economy are we? Paperless economy, okay, cool. Right. Which is, uh, okay, what I'm really trying to get at is paperless or e-commerce comes to something before you even get to this a point before we even can sell we need to get attention first the one who get a lot of attention online is able to sell better that's all I'm trying to say we are no more in the capitalist economy we are in the attention economy you guys understand what I'm saying attention means money today if I have attention today, I can make money tomorrow. But if I have a lot of money today and no attention, I may lose all my money. Let me say that once again. Huh? If I have attention today, I can make the money back. But if I have a lot of money but no, don't know how to generate attention online, I will lose all my money. So you want money or you want attention? Money. Huh? Attention or money? Attention. So you guys are not so smart after all. I want both. You guys didn't get it, never mind. Lah. It's okay. Lah. <laughs> okay? We are in attention economy, guys. Okay? We are in attention, attention economy. So attention is worth far more than money, actually, if you really think about it. If you know how to leverage it, you can make a lot of money. Because the title of this talk is how to create wealth via online marketing, right? If you know online marketing, you gain attention. When you gain attention, it's marketing and attention towards your company and it's branding. When you gain branding, you can sell premium. When you can sell premium, you make money. Right? I don't want to give you the tactics on how to do it because uh, everybody can give you the tactics. Tactics means uh, oh, uh, go here and click here and then after that you make money. No, it's nonsense. If you don't have the foundation right, uh, no matter how smart you are technologically, you won't make money. Right? Now you understand. Attention is far worth more than capital or money. Or, okay? So know how to generate attention, positive attention, nah. not negative attention, please. Okay, cool. Still okay, guys? Say yes. yes. Louder, please. Yes. Okay, at least you guys are awake. Cool. So what economy are we in right now? We are in the attention economy. Does money really matter? It still does. I told you if given the choice, I'll choose both. Not only just attention, okay? 
what is social currency means the more credible and the more visible you are the more current social currency you have so our currency is not really Malaysian ringgit or US currency anymore it's really social currency actually this concept is not new even in the offline world if you're well connected offline uh, somehow you also make money one correct it's still social currency but if you're well connected or offline you know the father of this who has a few million to invest in your company make, make money not make money law same thing online if you have attention or you know you are pretty much connected online you still make money how much I don't know but at least you will make luck if you know how to put business models in place to make the money cool okay